shown put deliberately in the cheek preparation in the, the rat race so called at that time i had no uh, real dream the one thing that was driving me to pursue science was my childhood passion to you know look up in the sky and explore things I was about to hear daily studies fully and start a business of my own no idea who, where where i would be and meanwhile on the side i had qualified ge means senior maths like i said and also which can be you know so there was a high quality in my locality that okay if, शर्मा जी का लड़का है इसको इंटरव्यू चला नहीं माय नेम इज सौमित प्रकाश एंड I am an uh, alumnus of NICER Bhubaneswar. So NICER stands for National Institute of Science, Education and Research, and it's in Bhubaneswar, Odisha. Um, I graduated last year in 2024, and by the time I finished my studies, I had qualified all such exams like CSI and NET, GATE, and I had gotten PhD position offers from some of the top places in the world, um, from Germany, UK, and Finland. and i had uh, a lot of options to choose from basically in terms of academia i had couple of um, job offers uh, from other places um, as well and so i i had basically um, a lot of things on my plate during and uh, by you know after the college as well but it was not always so like this so this goes back to the time when i was in class 11th and 12th you know there was a cut throat competition for je preparation since i was a pcm student and like everyone else around me i was also you know uh, thrown or you know put deliberately in the je preparation in the, the rat race so called that many of you can also relate to right uh, like everyone else around me my friends and i also had no idea what we are going to make out of this preparation or what we even you know are going to do when we get into if we get into iits or nits or triple its right so at that time i had no uh, real dream uh you know that i could fulfill by getting into just i it was uh, nothing else than you know the reputation i was carrying in the society and the happiness of my parents and etc right but uh, besides that the the one thing that was driving me to pursue science was my childhood passion to you know look up in the sky and explore things just by either by going through internet or by reading articles by reading books by reading the work uh, you know of the people on the lines of stephen sir stephen hawking or just so called um, theory of relativity as a child right so those were some of the scientific things uh do typically very scientific but um, in the words of popular science you know to enough to drive someone like me to pursue science because after class 10th i was almost about to drop and give up on science and was about to even leave studies fully and start a business of my own no idea who, where where i would be uh if i if i were doing that but yeah uh, there was always this uh, you know spark that i should do something related to the cosmology aspect and something on the lines of astrophysics and even astrophysics is something that i was not aware of at that time in class 10th or 11th but i saw that okay i think 2014 or 2015th uh, nobel prize was given to neutrinos that uh, they actually uh what carrying some mass right so i was very fascinated by that i started reading articles browsing all sorts of research papers although completely no wise at that time uh, you know through these things but of course uh, at some point of time this has to stop um because eventually you are residing in the society and you have your class 11th and 12th and like everyone else around you you are preparing for ge or need right so i was no different than these things so eventually i had to drop or i had to leave behind 
you know those ideas of neutrinos and relativity and string theory that i was even though as a child was inculcating inside me and uh, innovating new things that i was of course not telling to not many people around me but yeah at least i was telling those things to myself right it means a lot uh, as a kid when you do that but yeah fast forward to j prep 11 12 i managed to score decent um but yeah not enough to get admission into any colleges so i decided to take a drop because realizing that i have potential and i could do more get better ranks better colleges so uh, i decided to switch cities take a drop etc in between i met a person from a college for nicer to nature which I'll, you know later on happened to be the college where i would eventually pursue my undergraduate but yeah when i was switching cities a mutual friend of my senior was a mutual friend of my senior in iit delhi was at nicer to nature iit delhi why because i was taking guidance for iit so i decided to meet my senior who was already at iit delhi so in the process he also had me meet his friend who was a uh, physics major uh, astrophysics at nicer bhuvneshwar and i got really fascinated that oh my god you work there you you know you you are pursuing research in astrophysics that is my dream i have uh, read through neutrinos some cosmology string theory and stuff like that and he also got happy so he briefly told me about nicer sizes um you know nest exam cebs the stipends that you have the opportunities the sources everything and that got me intrigued uh ki why not also try for these colleges you know if at all the syllabus are same um exam pattern is slightly different and it's doable without um uh, you know at that time not much of a guidance was available and there was uh, no harm in appearing for the exam right so i decided to give it a shot but yeah after class 12 i could not make it because my preparation was not strong enough but um when i was preparing in my drop year my preparation was strong enough so as to qualify je mains je advanced and of course since iit and iit i could not give due to some clashes or conflicts but yeah next uh, i appeared in and at that time i uh, i could recall in 2019 that was the first year in which pc mb all four subjects were necessary to attempt and there was some subject wise cut off right that you needed to clear in all four subjects so as to get your name in the merit list right irrespective of how much marks you score so i came out of the exam hall completely disappointed that uh, and telling my dad see it's it's not going to happen i, I didn't have biology i somehow like relied on my common sense and solved a couple of questions you know purely it's based purely on luck whether or not i'll get uh, my name on the merit list or not although i was pretty confident about the pcm part that okay i did decently and meanwhile on the side i had qualified ge mains ce advanced like i said and also bits pilani so in my in, in ge advanced my rank was around uh, 13 14000 so i was pretty unsure of getting a good iit and a good seat right so i decided to more move on to the bits pilani counseling and i was eventually offered a seat at bits pilani campus in uh, chemical engineering so but since the fascination in physics was there so i applied for the branch of major in engineering chemical engineering and minor in physics right and of course with this decision my family members were somewhat um um you know in discomfort because they knew that okay i'm going to spend one extra year and of course that that is going to cost some money in terms of fees right and but yeah but due to sheer luck or you could say that some sort of uh, you know situation smartness that i managed to clear the cut off of biology even uh, in nest 2019 and i got my name on the merit list uh, with a rank 190 and um, the result came out came out in the morning uh, you know after a couple of days uh, of taking admission into bits pilani so 
I was sure that okay, I could get into NYSER, and I told my parents. I started discussing with them about this. But yeah, like since uh, if you can relate, like many of my neighborhoods and the people that I knew were aware of me getting into Bispalani, and you know, so there was a hype already in my locality that okay. Uh, Sharma ji ka ladka is going to Bits Palani so of course after 4 years or 5 years he's going to he's going to land up in a very lucrative job and stuff like that but yeah when I told my parents they were like uh, uh, at first they were in shock that hey what are you talking about where is this college nicer you don't even know about that right my, my father being a top executive in aer aerospace industry he wasn't even aware of nicer and CBS and what you know these research institutes are of course ISC was a different ball game so everyone would knew but nicer nicer people usually did not at that point in time five years ago right but yeah of course after having repeated crucial conversations that uh, hey, even if I were to take admission in a B.Tech college, my mind would still be involved somewhere uh, far distant in astrophysics or cosmology because I'm so 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 passionate about that, right? So after having repeated, I wouldn't say arguments, but yeah, like polite and crucial conversations, that this is something um, which I like, and not just I like, I feel that I can develop solid uh, expertise in basic sciences right if if not uh, in cosmology or astrophysics itself so i decided to go move forward with it and eventually i dropped out of bridge pilani uh, it costed some money but yeah I, I guess it was worth uh, you know pursuing for science given the fact that uh, Nizer doesn't have um, you know very high fees. The fees is very less, and on top of that, you know we have stipends five thousand per month. So it was a great deal for me at that point in time, right? So and I decided to, to take admission at Nizer and. Uh, yeah, so basically uh, my core values uh, are something that Nizer has so far satisfied, um, you know, very nicely. So the best part of academia is that it gives you freedom. So I can take this example, like if you if you take a B.Tech course, even in IITs or BITs or NITs, right, you have predefined courses. Of course, there are some variations that you can do, but if you wanna, if you want to explore something, right, you have a tendency to be inquisitive at times. You wanna, you know, blend multiple things, make something out of it, and try and error and repeat. You probably don't have that much. First of all, time. Second, that much scope because th that is, you know, those courses at IIT are very much bounded by internships, placements, and you have to have, you know, have to achieve certain level of output so as to justify the course that you're studying, the fees that you're paying, the college that you're in, the reputation that you're getting, a lot of, th a lot of uh, things, uh, you know, whose burden you have to carry. Uh, which in most cases is not there at places like ISIS, NICES, IC Bangalore because you know virtually there is no cost involved apart from time right you any don't have any reputation because when I was switching from bits to NICER I remember a lot of my you know neighborhoods and locality people telling me that hey don't go to such places you'll end up having no future right you are literally like uh, putting your own destiny in your coffin right because uh, leaving such a good place with such good opportunities and you're going somewhere which uh, even we don't know what is this nicer you, you'll have to do PhDs, it will take five years, six years, and you still you will end up jobless, and so on and so forth, right? So this is something that you don't have to carry the burden of at research institutes, right? So freedom, um, less stake involved, and the other, and a very subtle part is that the academic rigor and the freedom at the same time at these places 
make you worthy enough or make you skilled enough of course if you are open to doing that that after these five years at nicer icer isc you can still apply for a lot of you know industry based positions or skill based positions that can pay you okay good enough right as comparable to any other job opportunities at icer nicer sort of school right so this is a very certain thing that many people tend to ignore or of course they don't know about it right so these are some of the things that um made me very you know contented and and happy about uh, the decision that i took after my drop year you know dropping out of bits pilani or a btech course in general to get into an integrated msc course at nicer bhubaneswar so if i talk about an example like suppose you are eating pizza with you with one of your friends right so these days if you observe like if you take this example of dominos suppose you order one pizza from dominos they have this 30 minutes delivery right and at the same time they are processing not just your order they are in the process of making a lot of orders let's say 100 to 150 orders okay so it's that they have their machinery their algorithms their tech the computer uh, systems are designed in such a way and optimized in such a way that they are able to deliver not just your order but every other order that they are getting in less than 30 minutes right this itself is possible because they were able to optimize the way in which their machinery was working in which in in the way their you know uh, uh, the bakery the the microwave the grill was working right so as to optimize each and everything so that happens a lot of science is involved here and if i can if i could tell you one more thing like if you know the first refrigerator was not made by engineers right the first refrigerator was invented at cern like you can mention in the comments what what does cern do what is cern all about right so there are a lot of things that we unknowingly use on a very wide scale that were either discovered or invented by scientists <laughs> right so uh that is about the journey that um of course that th- these are just few aspects of the journey that i that, you know i went through during my preparation and the reason the reasons that i had uh of choosing of choosing research or engineering courses and some of the you know perspectives that i acquired of 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 um, pursuing basic science research and of course it provided me it provided me with a lot of opportunities inside academia as well so i could network with people a lot because inherently the system is designed like that uh, i could talk to a lot of people i could collaborate with a lot of people experimental people theoretical research people and build my own skills on the side right so these are just some of the perks that you can experience in basic science research right so i hope that this little part of my journey that i shared makes sense to you and could be of some help to you right if you have any further questions that you want to ask or you know you want me to share about you can mention in the comments we'll definitely bring out those information in a separate video or whichever way necessary okay till then see you soon take care all the best